What's good, everybody? Today officially marks the 30th day hold on, of this daily drawing. Not challenge, but just like little practice that I'm doing. And so today, to commemorate, I'm going to do a full on live with commentary video. <clears throat> Cause just because it's basically officially been a month and uh yeah i was honestly about to do this way earlier but i got sick so my voice would just be dead and i'd be sniffling the whole video it would be annoying and but now i'm good so yeah anyways let's get started full video uncut just dropping my thoughts as i draw so as y'all notice with my drawing style as I do these sketches is that I don't do much construction like I'm going straight into the shape outline and whatever other characters but that don't mean that I'm not doing I'm not really doing construction I'm doing the construction in my head I'm like training my mind to think and now what I'm doing I've been recently studying Modare Sensei, one of the goats, pretty much, fucking beast, and one of the weaknesses that I'm working on now is the head or angles of the face in this style. It's obviously, usually I could do the whole crosshair thing and all that stuff, but I want to be able to grasp have a better grasp of the head angle straight on in my head and really understand it. And that's also one of the things on why I stopped doing the whole construction things because it kind of just becomes a guesswork rather than actually thinking when you're doing too much construction. Now that's obviously advanced, kind of advanced stuff. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you jump straight into that, but it's good practice to challenge yourself, especially at the start. I definitely struggled with it, and I definitely tried doing it before I started this whole little series the last month. So it wasn't really like I just jumped into it and was able to do it. It wasn't so much that I just did it on a whim and immediately understood how to do it. I've practiced it. A little bit before I started doing this series just because I don't I wouldn't want it to be low quality so I did start the practice way before like probably almost a month before and then when I got kind of comfortable with it I decided okay let me make a series of this and stay accountable as well just to stay accountable as well because it's like oh I need to uh you know, <laughs> upload every day. Even though I kind of missed some day uploads, I just decided to edit the uh, videos in a batch and then schedule them for a week. Because it's hard to ha juggle like a bajillion things in a day. Uh, interpersonal relationships, uh, health, life, shit like that. So I just decided to do like a batch edit, which, you know, I still did it. I still did the drawings every day. I just didn't upload them. <laughs> so yeah, it's still accountable, I guess. It still counts. It's not cheating, right? All right. And also, it's like, there were a lot of days where I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. There were some times I'm like, oh, I know what I want to work on. I know what I want to do. And there are a lot of days where I'm like, bro, this is fucking boring. But I just had to stick through it. So if you want to try this, um, I would say have a fallback. Sometimes you just need to get moving. 
whatever. It's all you really need to do. It's like some days when you work out, kind of wanna you wanna lift light. It's just one of those days, or you're not able to lift as heavy, but that's fine. That doesn't define you. That doesn't make you any less of a stronger person. That doesn't undo all the progress you've done in the gym. It's just one of those days. So just have a fallback. And the philosophy is to just keep moving and stay consistent. You don't need all the flashy stuff. Don't need to be super impressive all the time. You can just be normal. Some days you can just be normal. In fact, those are most of the days. And as long as you continue doing that, it starts to become exception. You start to become exceptional at it. You start to become good at it. Because exceptional comes from the word exception. And most people, the reason why most people don't get that is because they don't stick at it long enough. And you become the exception if you do. Think about it. This is really what it is. So, yeah. It's like the philosophy. I just stay consistent. Keep moving. It's one of the things that I'm doing my best to remember right now. In all areas of life, it's just to show up and do the little things that you need to do every single day. Because if you are way too focused on results way too focused on the glamour you're going to burn out really really quickly because most days are boring a lot of the things that you see online those are highlights and you know you can watch a 40 minute basketball game and you'd probably only have like seven minutes of highlights of one player, depending on if they played well or not, right? If not, they'll get like four minutes, three minutes. So that's just kind of, that's kind of like how life is. You just got to focus on the little things. Zoom out a little bit. And just do what you got to do every single day. And eventually they'll accumulate... The results will start to come out, but there will be no results if there is no movement, if there was no action. So this is what you gotta do. If you wanna try to do, you know, if you wanna do, be consistent at something, doesn't there will be days where it's ass where it's not fun but you just gotta stick to it because there will be days just like this day that i'm recording this on where i'm having fun because i'm like oh i know what to work on cool and if it's there comes a day where i'm like hmm i don't really know what to work on right now i'm gonna just get moving i'm gonna just make sure that i'm Keeping the machine oil up. Pause. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm moving and uh, I'd be glad with that because it's just one of those days. But I'm happy that instead of not doing anything and using I don't know as an excuse, you said I don't know, but not I don't know so. It's, I don't know, but I don't know what I want to do or what I need to work on, but I'll keep moving. And uh, that's how you get, that's how you make progress, that's how you make, get results. Also, don't focus on them either. Focus on results. You won't love the process. You love the process. You'll get the results you wanted. Also, don't try to be perfect like this. It's kind of ass. It was starting to look good, but kind of fucked up on the arms there. I could correct it. I could not correct it, but it's fine because I can learn from it. That's the point of practicing this. 
It's the point of practicing anything. It's to learn from it. Don't need to be glamorous in practice. Obviously, you want to make, you want to practice so that you'll make it good at nine times out of ten. But you have to miss a thousand shots before you get before you get there. Well, maybe not miss, but you just have to put up a thousand shots before you get there. Before you make it nine times out of ten, probably miss about a thousand times. But that's fine, right? Keep going, keep moving, keep shooting. The arm here, kind of meh. Everything else, pretty good. But keep going, keep moving. I'm not here to impress anyone, I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to learn. I'm here to practice, here to get better. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually kind of moving fast, I ain't gonna lie. It's only been 12 minutes. Yeah, I'm working on like having a better understanding of the outlines and like sense of space and three dimensionality. That's why I'm kind of skipping the construction lines too, because I want to grasp it in my head. Pause. I want to be able to grasp that, like, mentally. I could use the guidelines too, but... That's like my last resort. If I really need to correct something and I can't figure it out, hit it with the guidelines, but I'll try my best to uh, have a feel for it mentally because it actually translates to when you're drawing at least for me personally if I'm like too focused on the construction lines when there are places that I don't see like for shortened stuff uh, it gets tough for me to envision it but in this case I'm like I'm not too worried about the areas that I don't see. I'm just focusing on what I see. And then let my brain fill in the blanks afterwards. And then it'll make sense. Rather than needing everything to be like plotted out in front of me. But yeah, there's the one thing that I noticed uh, about my weaknesses when I was watching one of Modera's streams. It's just like the. It's usually like that. Like a couple months ago, I was focused on Rudo Do Sensei. I still love Rudo Do Sensei's work and still study her. Um especially in painting but I'm I am also studying and trying to pick things up and learn things from Modare Sensei because you know that's you wanna learn from plenty of sources, not just one. Like what can I learn from Modare Sensei that I can't really grasp with Rurudo Sensei? And it's also good to not be stuck in like one style I'm still figuring shit out 
I don't have a set like brand or style. It's kind of too early for that. Oh, well, maybe not too early. I don't know. Just I like to be constantly moving, constantly evolving. So yeah, like don't compare yourself to these artists that are that have like decades of experience ahead, because you'll just get depressed. Just remember the distance, the time difference, and uh, if ever, and you'll feel kind of feel better about it. Cause like, oh yeah, I forgot. Like, they've been doing this ten years longer than me. It's like in the gyms. Like, well, this dude been lifting, f lifting, like six years, five years, four years ahead of me. They had better uh, coaching, training. They were more well informed type stuff like that. Just gotta focus on your own experience, on your own lane, on your own timetable. And you'll figure it out. And also that's the thing. Like that's like being an artist. It's like it's your own expression, it's your own life. It's your own story, bro. Don't try to be like another artist, no matter how much you look up to them. Don't try to be them. That goes with anything. Don't try to copy another person's life. No, don't, don't compare yourself to how another person lives, cause they're like that for a reason, and you're like you for a reason. Don't take away your individuality. I'm just gonna complete this. I'm just gonna fully draw this. Oh, and also one more thing is to just have fun. Find a way to make it fun. But also similarly to what I said earlier. Some days, it doesn't feel fun. Some days it feels like a chore. And that's fine. But don't let that simmer in your head. Because once it starts to feel like a chore, you can get stuck in that, uh, in that mode of thinking. And you cannot you it's hard to recover from it, especially if you're not used to dealing with that type of mindset shift. So yeah, don't don't let the feeling that it's work marinate. And that's why some days you wanna keep it light. You wanna keep it easy for yourself. Cause we can get stuck in this feeling that if we're not suffering, we're not making any progress. But you need to realize that as long as you stick with it, that is progress. As long as you don't stop, you're still mo making progress. It's like a loading screen. You know how you put your hand over the bar to see if it's moving? Even if the internet is slow, if the bar does move, then that means it's loading, it's making progress. Don't let the fear... Don't let the doubt, the voices in your head stop you from making progress. And that's also the thing. Only you can stop that progress. So enjoy. Have fun with it. Keep it light. Keep it fun. Because it's never that serious. Well, sometimes it is. It's good to be serious. It's good to take things, something seriously, but not all the time. Time for play, time for relaxation. There's time for work and serious mode thing. You need to be able to discern that. That's up to you to decide as well, because it's your life. kind of made a mistake here, I ain't gonna lie, but uh, it's fine, live and we'll learn, type shit, and uh, yeah, well, this was honestly faster than I expected, I don't know how I drew these, drew this, 
but it's pretty cool, I guess. Dude, let's add a little bit of detail to it. Some, you know, folds. Seams. And, uh, yeah. This is officially the last day I'm gonna start on working on a different series instead of just like the daily drawing. I'm gonna see if I can work. I'm gonna already have a series idea, so yeah, just gotta see how it's gonna work out in my schedule and stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed not just this video, but the whole entire one fucking month I've been doing this shit. And uh, yeah. It's actually a good way to end it. I actually like this drawing. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I like the face angle, stuff like that, being more uh, aware of that. But anyways, I don't want to keep y'all too long. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around with the whole series. I'll, I'll either announce or just upload like the first episode of the next thing that I'm, I want to work on. But yeah, anyways, I'm out. Proud of myself for sticking true as well. <laughs> this whole one month. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Plug.